Hi, I'm Patty Moreno, the garden girl, and it's time for me to prep my raised beds for planting. They've been fallow all winter, so the soil's really compacted. So the first thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take my fork here, and I'm gonna loosen up all of the soil by just putting it in and just wobbling it around. So I am done loosening up the soil in this raised bed, and now I'm gonna turn the soil. So I'm gonna grab my shovel over here, and with this shovel, I'm just gonna go down all the way as deep as I can in the bed and turn the soil. So I wanna bring the soil from the bottom up to the top. Now you can see that I've got, you know, leaves in here, and that's okay. I'm just turning it into the soil. That's just gonna help give the soil a little more fluffiness. And it's also just gonna compost down and it's gonna be good for the plants that I'm gonna put in here. All right, now before I finish turning the whole bed, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some rabbit manure. Now this rabbit manure is just gonna add nutrients to my soil. It's a really good idea that when you're prepping your bed, you add compost or like me, rabbit manure and turn it into the soil. And that's gonna distribute fertilizer to the plants that I'm gonna plant in here beautifully. Now I'm taking the rabbit manure and I am just turning it into my raised bed. You know, rabbit manure is a great fertilizer and it's a fertilizer that doesn't need to be composted. All right, I think I am done turning this bed and now I'm just gonna rake it over and make all of the soil in this raised bed level. I think I'm done raking and this bed is ready for planting. The Iroquois used to plant their corn and their beans and their squash together because they thought that those plants were the sustainers of life. They called it the three sisters method of gardening. So in this bed, I'm gonna plant my corn and my beans and my squash together. Now, the corn takes nitrogen out of the soil, whereas the beans, they put the nitrogen back into the soil. And our squash complements both the corn and the beans because what it does is it shades the soil. I've gone through and I've made little mounds. They're one by one, and I've made eight of them here in this raised bed. And the first thing I need to do is I need to plant my corn. So I've got some corn already started here, and I am gonna plant four corn at the top of this mound. All right, so I've got my corn in. And the next thing I need to do is I need to plant my beans. And I'm gonna plant four bean plants three inches away from the corn. All right, those are in. And the last thing I need to do is just plant my squash. There you have it, that's the Three Sisters Method. So I'm going through and I'm heavily watering my Three Sisters raised bed. And I'm so excited to watch it grow. I'm also excited about harvesting all these amazing vegetables that I'm gonna have later on this year. Mm, and you know what? I'm also honoring Native American tradition. I'm Patty Moreno, the Garden Girl. Thanks for watching. Click the link on the page to purchase your own set of Radius hand tools.